everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today we are revisiting my favorite challenge yet, the Pinterest Chooses What I Draw Challenge. So I tried to use different sort of keywords, I suppose, than I did last time to generate each search and image supply. I would also like to mention that unlike last time, this time I am skipping things that I consider to be ads, such as the top scrolly bar of ads, or if there's an ad in the center that just doesn't have anything that would pertain to what I'm looking for, then I skip it. So for the pose, I've got this Audrey Hepburn, really cool retro, just standard sideways looking sassy kind of a stance. Similarly to my style swap video that I did, I had a little bit of trouble getting the balance right, like getting the head to be on the right part of the body while the legs actually look like they're supporting the body. I think after a lot of tweaking, I eventually got it, but for a pose that looks so simple, it was actually a little challenging. Next up, I'm looking for hair. I was really hoping there would be some guy's hair mixed in here, but it's hard to get guy's hair without specifically specifying male hair cuts and things like that. I tried a few different searches, but this one gave me the highest variety of not just the same like blonde girl with wavy hair. Same thing with tops. Not many menswear, unfortunately. I also counted slightly wrong, you might notice. I wasn't counting per pin, I was counting per shirt on accident. I honestly didn't even notice until I was going through editing it. This shirt was also mildly disappointing, I'd say, because you can't really see it in the position that she's in, but that's okay. Next up, we've got the pants, and at first I was kind of disappointed with these pants as well, but then I noticed the sort of double belt detail, which I thought was kind of cool, and decided that it was not the most boring set of pants I could have picked. And the bell-bottom legs is kind of fun. I definitely don't think to draw bell-bottoms because I personally don't wear bell-bottoms. <laughs> And I accidentally dropped the dice, but that's okay, it was number seven. And we got these cute shoes with printed sunflowers on them. Similar to the shirt, it was kind of hard to really showcase this item of clothing because the shoes aren't exactly a big focal point, especially with those big bell-bottom pants. I almost said jeans, but they're definitely not jeans. And the accessory was somehow even more disappointing than the shoes and the shirt combined. But it's okay, you wouldn't be able to see much of anything else anyway. Now, as you guys might remember from my color palette challenge, I decided to go ahead and incorporate the color palette challenge in with this Pinterest challenge. That was a lot of the word challenge all at once, I apologize. Before we get to the coloring though, of course we have to do the line work. I'm using my trusted plastic nib Micron. I'm pretty much addicted to this pen at this point. I can't imagine going back to the original Micron fine, li fine liners, fine liners? Why does fine liner not sound right anymore? Anyway. I can't imagine going back to those anymore because the plastic nib is just so much more durable and is so much more flexible in the different line widths it can achieve. I don't know, I'm just obsessed. <laughs> Now back to the color picking. There are many colors on this color swatch page and it's kind of hard to decide what colors to go with. There's five on the left and then six underneath the photo. Anyway, although I have a very vast marker collection, I do not have 
that many dark greens. So I decided to just stick with the bottom four that are to the right. As you can see, my markers lined up here because the rest of the greens, sort of blue greens, looked just a little too similar to me. So I decided to just stick with the four to the right. Of course, I've got to do a little swatch to see what I'm working with. And then I tried to see how the colors would mix together, and boy oh boy was I disappointed. <laughs> These colors just did not mix into much of anything. The yellow and the pink mixed to be that kind of orange color, but what's the point of that? I already have that color <laughs> in a marker. So not the most successful choice of colors in that sense, but at least we have contrasting colors within the colors that makes sense. Feeling pretty intimidated by my color palette and not sure what direction I wanted to go, I decided to start out easy. I knew I wanted to make sure to highlight those sunflowers in the shoes, and since I had yellows and greens, I figured it was perfect. Then I felt that yellow was probably the most appropriate hair color for her. I suppose that's because the reference image was blonde, so maybe that's just what was stuck in my head. But I just didn't think green would fit her that well. I did add a bit of that orangish tone in the hair to give it a little bit more depth and structure, maybe? Then for the skin tone, I didn't want to just leave it white, but I gave her blush marks with the pink colored in her shirt the dark green and went all orange for those pants and decided I needed a little more texture and feeling extra inspired by the Leah Lexan stuff that I was doing a couple weeks ago, I decided to add in some colored pencils in the same colors. That helped me get a skin tone, which was really exciting, and then also just help me in adding more depth and dimension than I could with the markers. These markers were so pale that they weren't layering as well as I would have hoped. And then the one dark color I had was just not very complimentary with the lighter colors, so it wasn't exactly a good shading tone, I would say. And I went in with the colored pencil to create some stripes on her pants just to make her outfit a little more interesting and fun. Last but not least, adding some shine into her eyes. And then that concludes this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the added element of the limited color palette into the Pinterest chooses what I draw challenge. I know that I did. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.